In this video, we are going to take a look at the LLMware AMI that's now available in the AWS Marketplace. We'll talk a bit about why we created it and what you can do with it. And if you stick around till the end, we'll take a look at loading and using a 7 billion parameter model. So with this AMI, you can get up and running in minutes with our core component tree, which is obviously Python and our LLMware package. But we also install and run by default a few optional components, including Mongo for data storage and Milvis for vector embeddings. And we really think there's at least three use cases that provide value here. The first is if you simply need an environment to test in. Maybe your laptop is already too full of other work projects and you're an AWS user and you just want to get up and running quickly. For use case two, maybe you have already tried LLM more on your laptop and you start to outgrow it. You want to start using larger workloads or loading larger models, and you want to take advantage of AWS infrastructure to do that. In use case three is maybe you're already convinced that LLM more can help you solve some particular AI challenge in your applications or your workflows, and you want to start looking at automation. So let's jump over to the marketplace and see how LLM more appears there. So if you're in the marketplace and you search for LLMware, you should see at least two offerings. One of them will be our professional services offering, and the other one, which we're focusing on today, will be our AMI. So you'll notice here there's no charge for our AMI other than the AWS infrastructure cost that you'll uh, incur by running. Uh, but you will need to, the very first time, uh, come into our offering here and subscribe so that you can then inst install the EC2 uh, instance. So you need to do that part, but then you're ready to go. Um, and I'm gonna show today the graphical way of kicking off an EC2 instance launch, which I think is where most people start. Um, but we do have options. If you are um, looking to automate, we have scripts in our GitHub repo, which will help you um, automate the deployment of these AMIs. And then just in general, and this link will be in the description of this video, um, I'd highly recommend starting from our AWS specific README, which will walk through many of the things I'm, I'm showing today. So this is a great place to, to start and, and look. Okay, so let's create and launch an EC2 instance. So here I am in my EC2 view. I'm gonna launch a new instance. I'm gonna give it a name. I'm gonna call it LLMware1. Um, and again, nothing here should uh, look surprising. Uh, the deployment of our AMI should look and feel just like the deployment of pretty much every other AMI uh, that you've deployed, but we'll just go through these steps. Um, I'm gonna find our AMI here for the application and OS images. I'm just gonna search and it will be here under AWS Marketplace AMIs. I'm gonna select it. I could read a bunch of details here, but we'll skip this for now. Um, you can read those at your leisure. And I'm just gonna continue. And then I'm asked what's probably the most important question. Uh, what sort of instance do I wanna run this AMI on? By default, um, it should set you to this T2 2X large, which is a decent sized CPU based instance. Um, it's good for working with, let's say, 1 billion parameter models or kicking the tires or running modest workloads. You can get a lot done on an instance like this. Um, for today, though, I promised I'd show a 7 billion parameter model. So we're going to uh, bump it up to a GPU instance uh, to do that. So I'm going to use a G5 and I'm going to pick a 4XL uh, for that today. Um, so that's what we're going to deploy on. Next, obviously, if we're going to SSH in, we need to provide our key pair. I'm not going to change anything in the network settings because by default, the only traffic allowed in is SSH, which is, which is okay for my testing purposes here. Um, the last thing which you might want to configure, we've set the default storage to a relatively modest 100 gigabytes. Um, this is perfectly fine for kicking the tires or running you know, several different models. Um, if you're planning to do a significant amount of work or load many, many large models, you're going to want to bump this up a little bit. But I'm just going to keep this at 100 gigs. And we're, set, we're all set. So I'm just going to hit launch. And we're going to do this part in real time. There might be other parts of the video I speed up, but what we found is the deployment of this instance is actually very, very fast. So I'm going to come back to my instances here. And we're already, we're already running. And I should have an IP address. Yep, there it is. So I'm going to take this IP address. And um, if you've ever SSH'd in, into an instance before, you'll know you need to specify your key name and then the username and then the IP address. 
And so our image is Ubuntu based. So the user will be Ubuntu at your IP address and that's it. So um, we should be up and running in a second here. Yep, there we are. And I say yes. And in a second or two, we should be inside the AMI. There we are. So if we take a quick peek around, we'll see there's an LLMware folder. This is actually a clone of our repo and it has our examples in it, which we'll see later. There is a readme here uh, that you can uh, take a look at. And there's also this set M where some environment variables, for example, um, open AI keys or keys to other LLMs, um, you can set them in there and all our examples and code will, will use them. So I am gonna run a few commands though uh, to get started here. I'm gonna head back to the um, AWS specific readme. There are a few things we recommend doing. Um, LLMware is up, updated very, very frequently, usually once a week at least. Um, and so we recommend uh, pretty frequently running this command to just make sure your LLMware is up to date on your uh, instance here. So I'm just gonna run that command and we'll wait for this to finish. Okay, and I'm going to run one more command. I mentioned that in the root folder here, there's the LLMware, which is our repo. If I go into that folder, I'll see there's a few files, one of, or a few folders. One of them is examples. We wanna make sure we always have the latest and greatest examples. So the next command that the readme tells me to run here is to do a git pull, just to make sure we've got the latest greatest. So this will be very quick. We will just pull latest and greatest. You can see lots of files got updated. Um, and then I'm going to skip this environment setting. We don't need it. Um, but the last thing I need to do, because this is an NVIDIA GPU instance, uh, we do need to run one command to set up the system. Um, in future versions of our AMI, this will not be necessary. Uh, but for now, it is. So I'm just going to copy this command exactly and run it. Okay, we are all set. So we're gonna head into the examples folder. And as I mentioned, these examples are changing all the time. Um, so make sure you pull often. In this case, we're gonna take a look at uh, LLMware specific models that are part of our Dragon series. Let me just jump over to Hugging Face really quickly. Um, again, if you just search for LLMware on Hugging Face, you'll land on our uh, model information. Um, so we are looking at these Dragon models which is a play on words. It's for delivering rag on. That's where the dragon comes from. These are trained models that are very, very good at answering very specific questions that have to do with things like contract analysis and others with limited or no hallucination, very uh, to the point answers and so on. So I mentioned the 7 billion parameter model. We're going to take a look at this red pajama model today. Um, you can see it's been trained on top of red pajama insight 7b here. Um, and yeah, let's just get going. Let's see what this looks like. So I am going to um, use a very particular example here called Dragon Rag Benchmark Tests Hugging Face. So let's just open that and see what, see what it looks like. Oops. Okay, so this example does a few things. Um, first, it loads a 200 question data set um, that is also in Hugging Face, so and you can take a look at that at your at your leisure. But the most important part is it will uh, load this seven uh, billion parameter model, and then run through all those benchmark tests um, from that test case from that test data set, and it will show both the expected answer and then the answer from the model, and let you compare and also uh, show us how long uh, the responses are taking to get back. So. Um, as I said, I want to use this LLMware Dragon Pajama. That is the zero one element in the array. And so we're all set. So um, I'm not going to go through the code here in detail, but this is all in our repo and browsable. And you can just take a look at your leisure. So all we need to do to run this is simply run Python 3 and then the example name. So I'm gonna speed up, I think, a, f a few parts of this, um, mainly because the 7 billion parameter model does take a little bit of time to uh, download.
Okay, this is giving us a good a good error message here. Um, this example does require a package that we do not install by default. So I'm just going to quickly install that here. Uh, we're just going to do pip install datasets. And we'll run again. Okay, so our model has been downloaded and loaded, and now we're starting to get the results. And you can see for each benchmark test, the results are coming back pretty quickly. Most of them are sub-second. Uh, some of them take a little bit longer, uh, but that's it. This is gonna run through the 200 uh, question benchmark uh, really quickly. Um, and this is just one type of example you could run. So I'm just gonna kill this because we've already got it running here. Um, if you look in the examples folder, you'll find all different types of things, including how to parse documents, how to create libraries of documents and use those to create vector embeddings and all kinds of things. And the beauty of this AMI is that you don't have to call out to any external services. If you're worried about data privacy, if you're trying to figure out if you can implement the AI uh, feature that you're trying to implement in a completely closed environment, then this AMI should help you do that. Um, the vector embeddings, the uh, data that's parsed out of documents, the model loading, all of that can happen locally in this environment here. So yes, we really hope you try out this AMI and give us feedback. Uh, we will be delivering updates uh, with more and more goodies packed into the AMI. So uh, keep an eye out for those and thank you for watching.